Hello and welcome to this Electrical Principles training video. In this video, we're going to see how to set up our Mega Avo 835 multimeter in order to measure resistance. So we're going to plug some resistors into our electronics board and we're going to bring the camera in and we're going to see how we measure that resistance and also explain away why we may not be quite getting the results that we expect. So we'll bring the camera in and we'll see what we're doing. So the first thing we need to consider is how to set up our multimeter. So as we said, we're using the Mega Avo 835, this lovely meter that Mega gave to us. And what we're going to do is we're just going to see how to set this up to measure resistance. So first of all, we want to turn the dial to the correct setting. So if we work our way around the dial here, we can see that when we get to this point, we get the Amiga symbol. And of course, from our studies in electrical science, we know that that is the symbol that we use to represent resistance. So we'll dial that round to that symbol. Now what you can see on the screen here at the top is that we're currently in the auto range. So again, this is just going to measure uh, the resistance and it's going to find its own range to suit the value. So if you want to change the range that it's measuring at, we simply press the range button to select our own. Now we'll demonstrate this become a little bit clearer when we actually start measuring resistances. But when we press the range button, we can see the auto disappears and then we're now in the ohms range. We press it again, we go to the kilo ohms range. And if we want to go back to auto ranging, we just do a long press on range and the auto will come up. And you can see there, because it's currently trying to measure resistance and there's nothing connected across the terminals, it's automatically gone to its highest range setting. So what we'll do is we'll make sure we've got the leads in the right place. So we always have a lead in the common, so we'll pop our uh, black lead into the common there and then we've got our voltage terminal here which is also marked up if you look here with the little Amiga symbol again symbolizing resistance so we'll plug our second lead in there now we've got the meter set up and ready to go we'll bring in our electronics board we'll plug some resistors in and we'll have a look at what values we're getting so we've got our electronics board ready to go we've already plugged in a 12 ohm resistor and if we just have a quick look at the back of this resistor, you can see there that it's got these coloured bands on there. Now we're going to talk in another video about what those bands mean, but we're quite interested in just one of these. And we're going to have a little look uh, in a moment at, at this final band here, because that explains something quite interesting uh, about what's going to be happening when we measure resistance. So we'll plug that back in. We've got our meter set up and ready to go. So we'll hook our leads up and we'll see what resistance we're getting on our meter. Very good. So you can see there that the meter is measuring 11.9192 ohms. So it's automatically set itself to the correct range, uh, which is just ohms because this is in the ohms range. And it's giving us our reading there. Now, you may be looking at this reading and thinking, why is that not coming out at exactly 12 ohms? Well, the reason for that, uh, there's a couple of reasons, but the main one is that when we look at the back of the resistor here, when we consider this resistor, these are manufactured by the million. So as they come off a production line, uh, it's very, very difficult to get every single resistor to have exactly the same value, exactly, uh, in this case, 12 ohms. And so when resistors are manufactured, they're ma manufactured within a tolerance range. So there is an upper value that the resistor can get to, and there is a lower value that the resistor can get to. Now, when we look at the back of this resistor, we can see that this last band here is actually a uh, gold colored band. Now that gold colored band indicates the tolerance of this resistor and different tolerances have different colors. And again, we'll cover this in much more detail in another video, but at the moment we can see this gold band and that means that this resistor has a 5% tolerance. So it can be 5% above 12 and it can be 5% below 12 and still be acceptable. So when you start to think about those values, you can see that the reading we were getting of about 11.9 is actually well within that tolerance. So we've got a good quality resistor here. So we've got a mystery resistor value here. We're not sure what this is, but what we're going to do is we're going to use our multimeter to measure that resistance, and then we'll see if we can figure out what size of resistor it is. So let's hook this into the multimeter. So on the multimeter now we can see it's auto ranging and now it's giving us this value, it's 0.985. Now do you think that when I reveal the value of this resistor, it's going to be printed on there, 
0.985 kilo ohms. Well, that would be a very, very specific resistor value. So actually what will happen is we've got to again think about our tolerances. So when we look at this number 0.985 kilo ohms, what number is that quite close to in, in reality? Well, let's reveal the resistor and we'll have a look. So we can see there, we've actually got a one kilo ohm resistor. Again, allowing for the tolerance of the resistor, we can see that we're coming in quite comfortably uh, within the 5% uh, value that's allowed. So this is actually a one kilo ohm resistor that we're measuring at just under one kilo ohm, 0.984. So we'll have one more go at this. We can see here we've got another mystery resistor value. We'll plug in our meter and we'll see if we can figure out what the resistor value is here. So we'll hook this in on that side and that side. And we can see there we're coming out at 0.5092 mega ohms, okay? So when you think about that, we've got 0.5092 mega ohms. So that's somewhere around uh, 0.5 of a mega ohm. So let's reveal uh, the mystery resistor and see if that's what we're coming out with. Okay, so we're actually coming out with 500 kilo ohms. Now at first glance, that might seem a little bit at odds with what we're seeing on the meter. But when you think about your multiples and submultiples, you can see here that 500 kilo ohms would be 500,000 ohms. And because here we've got 0 0.5 of a mega ohm, that is half a million ohms, we can see that that is actually 500,000 ohms as well. So we can see there that the reading on the meter and the value of the resistor actually match perfectly, which is really good. Again, we've gone slightly over this time, so we've got our 5% above value that we've got to stay within, but we're well within that, and that's really good. Now one more interesting thing about this is if we have a look at the back of this resistor carrier, we can see that we've actually got two resistors. Okay. Now these two resistors have been connected together in a specific way from a previous video. Hopefully we know how these resistors are connected. They are connected in parallel. So they are connected in parallel. So using your knowledge from resistors in parallel, we should be able to figure out what the value of each of those resistors actually is. So when we stop and think about it for a moment, we know if we've got two resistors of the same value connected in parallel, the total resistance is half of one of the resistors. So if we double 500 kilo ohms, we'll actually come up with one mega ohm. Yeah, so we've got two resistors there of one mega ohm value connected in parallel, which gives us a resistance of 500 kilo ohms. So you can see that we don't have to manufacture every single conceivable size of resistor because we can combine them to give us other values as well. So in summary, we've seen how to set up the multimeter. We've seen uh, the value of the auto range function on here where it will automatically select the correct range, whether that's mega ohms, kilo ohms or ohms. And we've also seen that we won't get perfect values of resistance on our resistors due to manufacturer's tolerances. So thank you very much for watching.